What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog, back with another video. And as you know by now, the Carolina Panthers have fired head coach Ron Rivera, a.k.a. Riverboat Ron. And I'll be honest with you, I did not expect to see that notification come up on my phone. Now, don't get me wrong. I knew he was probably going to get fired at some point, most likely after the season on Black Monday. But I did not expect it to happen so soon. And then to see that notification come up left me shocked. I mean, damn, Dave Tepper, you ain't messing around now. Now, we all knew that Dave Tepper was not going to put up with mediocrity for long. I mean, he made those comments a while back, pretty much calling the Panthers season mediocre. And when he made those comments, yeah, we knew that Rivera's uh, time was running out in Carolina. And sure enough, earlier today, he pulled the trigger and he hit the ejecto cito on Ron Rivera, sending him out of Carolina. And it will be really interesting to see where he ends up. And it'll also be interesting to see who the Panthers bring in to be their fifth head coach in franchise history. Now, looking at Ron Rivera's resume as Panthers head coach, I'd say it's a pretty good one. Of course, he coached from 2011 to 2019. He went 76, 63, and 1 in the regular season and 3 and 4 in the playoffs. Not very good, but it's still all right. I've seen worse. And then in terms of accolades, he was a two-time PFWA NFL Coach of the Year in 2013 and 2015. He was an AP NFL Coach of the Year in 2013. He led the Panthers to four playoff berths three consecutive NFC South championships in 2013, 14, and, of course, 2015. And then, of course, yeah, he coached the Panthers to an NFC championship in 2015. They made the Super Bowl. And, of course, we all know what happened in that Super Bowl. Cam Newton did not fall on a fumble, and the Denver Broncos got Peyton Manning one more ring before he retired. So where does he end up? I could see uh, the Giants. Definitely, if they get rid of Pat Shermer, which is probably going to happen, to be honest, because Gettleman ain't going to put up with that crap anymore. You know that. And uh, I know uh, Giants fans are starting to get a little rambunctious. Oh, yeah. They're starting to get a little uh, heated over there. You know, they're, they want change, man. Their team sucks for real. I mean, damn. Now, uh, I could see Ron Rivera going somewhere as a head coach. We'll see where he ends up with that if he goes that route. But then again, he could also go somewhere as a coordinator. And if he does decide to be a coordinator, I could definitely see us going after him. Maybe we get rid of Steve Wilkes and bring in Ron Rivera as DC. That could possibly happen. Or maybe John Dorsey shocks everybody and fires Freddie Kitchens and brings in Ron Rivera to be our head coach. I swear, if that happens, I'll be shocked because – Honestly, I don't see us firing Freddie Kitchens this year. I could see it next year if this crap continues, but not this year. Heck no. I see us giving him at least one, maybe even two more years. I think it's far too early to fire Freddie. But if we do fire Freddie, it will come after the season. But we'll see how the season ends for us. Uh, but yeah, man, that's a, that's a shocker. Only the second job opening now as, of course, the Redskins – have fired their coach a long time ago. Jay Gruden was fired many weeks ago, like around mid-season. And, uh, you know, of course, they got Callahan as their interim. I think uh, the Panthers have, what, Perry Fuel as their interim head coach, I think. Not really sure. But, uh, yeah, Browns fans, let me know what you think about the possibility of us bringing in Ron Rivera as a coordinator. Or maybe even getting rid of Freddie and bringing in Ron Rivera as our head coach. Imagine if that happens. Oh, that'd be lit. I mean, if we get rid of Freddie, the only two guys I'm really looking at are Mike McCarthy and Ron Rivera. Unless you want to go the college route and maybe you go for uh, Lincoln Riley. I also heard uh, Peterson from Washington. The Huskies, uh, he, he stepped down or whatever, but he's going to win a going into an advisor role with the Huskies. So I don't know what he's going to be doing about coaching. But, yeah, if we get rid of Freddie, definitely bring in uh, Mike McCarthy or Ron Rivera. 
I could definitely see us going after Ron as a coordinator, though, for sure. He would make this defense so much better, you know. But then again, we'll see what happens. But uh, I know I didn't do a video about Jay Gruden getting fired because, honestly, I didn't care, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, yeah, Ron Rivera is out as Panthers head coach. And uh, we're only just getting started with these uh, coaches getting fired. We'll see how many other coaches get fired before the end of the season. And then, of course, you have Black Monday when I expect all hell to break loose with coordinators and stuff getting fired. I don't think there's really been any coordinators fired yet this year, have there? I don't think so. No, surprisingly. You know, I thought, like, the ball would have been fired from Buffalo, but he's still there. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. But, um, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm Crazy Dog 99 and I will see you in a little while for my Browns and Bungles Week 14 preview. So, hope you guys tune in for that. And then, of course, you got my picks coming up later tonight. That should be fun. But until I do my Browns Bungles preview, I'm Crazy Dog 99. Let's go, Browns. And I'm out.